Hey everybody, comparison videos are really great to showcase your work and give it to clients and let them take a look at the work that you can put into your projects. I'm going to show you how to create a comparison video in DaVinci Resolve. You can use this in the free version or the studio version, so let's get started. I'm in the edit page. If you need to get there, hit shift and the number four. I'm going to go to effects over here and I'm going to select a fusion composition. I'll right click on that composition. And next I want to go into the Fusion page. All right, in the Fusion page, I want to bring in my images down into the flow area here. So I've got my clay, I've got my textured model, and I have my composite here. And I'm going to hit the Shift spacebar and type in DIS. So let's put a Dissolve node in there. I'm going to change the settings of this dissolve node here in the controls in the inspector to an SMPTE wipe. And we'll go ahead and bring the clay into the background and the textured image into the foreground. And then on these controls here, let's go ahead and put that up in the screen here. So you can see I'm going to start with the clay and then I'm going to go into the texture there. But what I want to see is kind of a sharp edge there so right now there's some softness on here I'm gonna turn that down to zero I'm gonna go ahead and put a border in here so we have something to kind of divide the two images it's a little bit wide so I'll bring that down something about like that and now it can wipe through these two different images okay now that I have that kind of these settings set with the border and the softness set. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this dissolve. So now I can bring the output of this image into the input of the dissolve on the background and the final composite on the foreground. So I'm going to have two different sets so I can go through three different images here. Let's go ahead and export the, the output of this to the media out. And next I want to go ahead and do some animation on basically this line moving through here so it gets through our timeline here. So go ahead and select the first dissolve. Bring it all the way back to zero there on the background foreground setting. And get your timeline over on the far left. Right click on that and say modify with enemy curves. And so now we're going to have a modifier that just got added there. Instead of a linear curve I'm going to do an easing curve and none on the input but I want to go quad on the output. I'll jump the scale up to 1.7. Now let's go 1.855. And now it's going to go through that image, but it's going to be done a little bit early because I'm going to add the second image onto here. Let's go ahead and link in this third clip into this transition here. And so we want to go ahead and select the second dissolve down here in the node tree. And on the timeline at 45, we're going to go ahead and select a zero value for the background foreground. And we're going to right click on background foreground and modify with an animation curve. If we go up here to the modifiers tab, we can see the settings here. So I want to set a scale of 2.0 and an offset of negative one. Time scale of one works great. And let's change this curve type under curve shape options to an easing curve. And on the out, I'm going to change that from a none to a sign. And that should give us a nice transition. And as I scrub through that, that's looking pretty good. I want to select my media out so I can see everything here. And I think that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the edit page. And we can do another preview through this. And I think that is looking excellent. And one thing I wanted to point out, since we use the animation curves in our sequence here, if we want to change the speed of the transition through these three different clips, we can just shorten or lengthen the clip itself. And the way we program that will do the rest of the work for us. So if we shorten it, it's going to speed everything up. And if we lengthen it, it's going to go a little bit slower. That's just a really great way to, to kind of set this up so you can change the speed later. So hopefully that was helpful in creating some comparison videos. And if you guys can really showcase your work using this method and customize the way you want to show off these transitions between the different clips, uh, you can set that bar in between it. 
the speed and everything you want to make it look as professional as you want to get it. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions on this method, go ahead and post them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel too if you're new to this channel. I appreciate you guys taking a look at this. Take care, everybody.